Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Vanessa and make sure to subscribe and hit the like button before you leave. So as you can see from the title of this video, today I'm showing you my stamping plate collection and let me tell you, it's a big one. So on the day that this was recorded, I had 151 stamping plates. It's a lot, I know. And since then, I bought around 20 more, so my collection is even bigger now. So basically, I spend about $40 a month on a nail, just because I can and I'm buying it for myself. I know that in America, you pay around $50 for a set of acrylic or gel nails. And in my country, where I live, it's about $25 a month. So basically, I'm investing in my collection and it's something that I like to do. And I love to just buy it and wait for the mailman to come. And I get so excited, like, it's crazy. And I have a lot of stamping plates in my collection. And some of them are like seven years old old and I'm not even kidding like seven years ago I cannot remember was it on Aliexpress or eBay like when they first came out with these rectangular plates you had to like pre-order them like they made I think certain amounts of them and you had to pre-order and pay and then you had to wait until they release them and then of course you waited them for to get in a mail and i remember when i first got them it was something new like i had never seen before and i was so excited and let me tell you back in the day we didn't have like clear stampers we had like those big ones like white and we had like these smaller like green rectangles that they were so so hard and we had haven't had that like now it's easy because you have those clear stampers and you can see what actually you're doing but when you had those like white or green ones like you had to just eyeball it like and hope that it would come out good but sometimes i know i got so frustrated because i couldn't like place it on a nail where i wanted and also back in the day like stamping polishes were something like new i would say like you all obviously had um, bigger brands that were more expensive but on aliexpress and ebay where i usually buy they were like maybe four dollars a bottle and they would dry out like in two or three months period and i haven't even used like half of the bottle like i was so frustrated because i gave my money for that and then it dry out because when they even arrived they were so thick because stamping polishes need to be thick and opaque but okay now we evolved and we have like clear stampers like good stamping polishes and it's so cool like how time flies like and let me tell you like i have stamping plates that are seven years old and three years ago i changed my job and they basically told me that i cannot do my nails i can have them like only nude because i was basically in a school so you cannot have like like red or some bright color on your nail and i was like so bummed about it and i remember i just got on a local website and i sold like 90 percent of my nail stuff i left only glitters and some of the stamping plates because i was like i'm never gonna use them again like i have some st so, some polishes and i'm gonna just polish my toes and all of that and then i started working like two years ago 
And I was looking at the other like colleagues, they all have like crazy big nails and they have bright colors. And I was like, if they ha can have it, like I can have it too. So a year and a half ago, I started buying again and like, I need to have a big collection just to just to make me happy like I love that even when I didn't do nails I was watching a lot of videos a lot of hauls because I love to watch hauls and I educated myself like everything that I know I know from the videos and like nail art is my passion and mm -hmm. I will do it like even when I'm old and wrinkly and <laughs> I will just enjoy it so basically that's why I'm buying so many things and a lot of the stamping plates I actually bought on eBay on Alex uh, on auction and auction is a great way to buy if you have time like let me tell you it only consumes time like even if stamping plates is like a dollar, you have to spend a lot of time because you need to like watch it and make sure that you are the highest bidder. But if you have time, like go for it. Like I bought like stamping plates, they were like three dollars and something. I bought them for 90 cents and that was an awesome deal and it's worth it. Like, and let me tell you, some of the stamping plates on this video you can see good and some of them don't I try to do my best to like make the lighting good like position my camera that you cannot really see it because I'm, I'm recording with my phone and not to have the glare and some of them you just cannot see good because that's the way they are and I am so sorry for that and I'm a bit rambling in this video so but I wanted to catch up with you guys on some of the things. And that's basically it, what I wanted to say. And just continue. And if you have any questions, where did I get some stamping plates? I will look up for a link or something. Just comment down below. Thank you.